May 2, Saturday, Memorial of St. Athanasius, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Many of the disciples of Jesus who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are Spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, for this reason, I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer walked with him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you want also to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord You are the Holy One of God. John presents Jesus as the fulfillment of the prophecies. His teachings accompanied by signs of power attest to this being the Son of God, and not just a carpenter's son. The multiplication of the loaves alludes to the manna in the desert. The cross of Jesus points to the bronze serpent mounted on a pole that anyone who would look at it would live. While the manna and the bronze serpent provided temporary relief from God's punishment, Jesus presents a new food that will bring eternal life. This is his own body. His crucifixion happens on the Passover event. Jesus' body that is sacrificed on the cross will be the Paschal Lamb that takes away the sins of the world.